everyone, this is In Game Arts with another boxing, another offline game experience. This is Mortal Kombat 11 Ultimate for the PlayStation 4. Did you right into it? This collection comes with the update version 1.24 on disc, but sadly there was a good significant size update. This update size was 4.6 gigabytes big and will take you to version 1.28. Now this update is just says bug fixes, but it's probably more on the line with it's the update that upgrades you to the PS5 version. Now that doesn't mean you're in the PS5 version unless you redeem that code that comes with the PS4. Now that redeem code is only for to upgrade you to the PS5 version. Everything else is on disc. Now please keep in mind that even though it does show a great number of items on disc in the unboxing part of my video, there is still some that little items here are missing, like the movie skins. Now, a good majority of all the content that's on the disc, you have Terminator, you got Rambo, you got Robocop, you got Melina, you got all the other characters, Joker, and a lot of the skins packs, like the classic skins for Scorpion and Sub-Zero, as well as the female ninjas, as well as it got the, for the uh, one million fans from Johnny Cage, and a lot of people were asking me if that was on the previous version. Now, on to the, about the previous version. This version here isn't any different from the previous version in terms of what the package is. It's a game, you have both the Aftermath and base game. We've got a little bit more extra a couple DLC items on the disc. Not a whole lot, but also it has, it's still a service system, so a lot of the content and features that are talked about is locked behind an internet connection required as well as a significant amount of items in the game like unlockable skins and abilities and powers and so forth it still requires an internet so even though Mortal Kombat 11 Ultimate is the most updated package it's still a service than a complete package like I mean the, the the plague that's been plaguing games with nowadays with the high DF services so in the end Mortal Kombat 11 yes if you're a complete collector is the complete package the, the closest you can get but as I said there are some few DLC items missing now I had talked about the PS5 version about this game. Now the PS5 version of Mortal Kombat 11 Ultimate does come with everything the same thing as the PS4 version. The difference is, is that you have to update the PS5 version to get all the content as it is just the base vanilla version on disc. Now it's a small little update as they said I'm not exactly sure how big that update is for the PS5 version but at least on the PS4 version you do not need to update it to of course be able to play all the content so it's the complete physical version is the best one to get is for the PS4 of Mortal Kombat 11 Ultimate as a PS5 version you still need an internet connection you still need to download an update and as well as Mortal Kombat 11 Ultimate it gives you a redeem code to upgrade you to the PS5 version so it's very aggravating how WB made the PS5 version so inferior compared to the PS4 version now as I said about services and all the other content, nothing really else is different. It's still a good little game in terms of I mean, I mean, everything being on disc. It's I mean, it's still missing, but it's still a good story, good combat, good gameplay. I'm still not a big fan of fighting games, so don't expect anything amazing from me. Uh, also, I want to throw in this real quick. Lots of people have asked me about it. Uh, Frost uh, is still unlockable. You, I've even played the game to unlock her. Just all you have to do is play the story mode, the first campaign mode, get to chapter 4, and you unlock her. You can purchase her, but don't waste your money. Just go to chapter 4. Just put it on very easy and just go to chapter 4 and get to there, and then you unlock Frost. Why give money? <laughs> so she is still fully unlockable offline. And as I said, I tested everything and make sure everything still worked all offline. So, again, it's, it's a good little package, though. I am quite upset with this actual physical release B uh, start right into it a that we just recently got aftermath that's not very long after that so we got a second physical release of another physical release that just got released secondly or B uh, this is probably like I said a service so and there's still some questionable characters who are missing like a uh, cyborg uh, cybot I think it is he's it is a character you can come across in the game but yet you still can't pick him so I'm worried that we're still going to get more characters, more updates, and so forth. So, again, it's not technically the ultimate pack, as there's still a significant amount of content missing from the disc, as well as some characters missing, and so forth. Uh, I don't, 
I don't know what else to say. Mortal Kombat 11 Ultimate P for PS4 is the best version to get. If you're a Mortal Kombat fan, it's, again, a great game to add to your collection. It is upsetting how WB is handling all this. I'm disappointed with NetherRealms for going along with this system of having this internet required to do anything and everything, even though the previous game, Mortal Kombat 11, clearly showed it didn't need that. So why is this one needed? I don't know. It's just a disappointing future for gaming, and it benefits gaming in no way. I've talked about this with the Aftermath version. Then people have argued with me that I don't know what I'm talking about and saying hey, hey, another realm is how it's got to be done, which, again, that's completely ridiculous. I mean, if you know anything about game development, you know that's not true. I mean, games never needed internet before. Why all of a sudden they need the internet now? <laughs> it makes no sense, but hey, I mean, apparently I, I'm just a boomer. I don't know what I'm talking about. But <laughs> in the end, it's a good collection. It's still worth your time. Should you go and buy it right now? I mean, I really would say no because it doesn't really add ultimately that much. But I mean, I don't know how many they made for the PS4 version. I do notice that it was kind of suspicious that the PS4 version, the American version, was heavily delayed quite extensively compared to the PAL version and left the PS5 version up there for so long. Again, like I said, it was a clear cash grab to get you to buy the inferior PS5 physical copy version and try to hold off as long as they can for you not to buy the PS4 version. Why they did this, it is just baffling. But there's other ga other games that have done this where the Xbox version comes with everything on disc, but the PS4 version comes with the redeem code, and so on and so forth. I don't understand companies. They're just... I don't know... The, just the t intelligence of the community in that area is just beyond me. But, as I said, it's a good fighting game, good story. They're still one of the best in terms of gruely, gru gruesome, deadly violence in fighting games with good story and characters. Graphics are amazing. Music's pretty darn good as well. Main gameplay is fluid and smooth. Still, I'm not a fighting game fan. I don't like having to hit five buttons to do one move. It annoys me. I'm a simple man. I like to push one button and it does everything for me. So, man, main, it's 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 up to you whether you want to go in to invest into it. I'd say don't support it, but I understand why you would want to get it for everything on disc. But please keep in mind, we could eventually get another I mean, Mortal Kombat 11, the complete edition. I mean, it wouldn't be very far off considering how much is mi still kind of missing from this Ultimate version. So I've rambled enough about this subject, and I mean, this video was a quick little heads up video. I still will test this version on PlayStation 5 when I get a chance, so like always, I'll try to leave links down in the description if you're interested to copy. In my opinion, I mean, it's up to you. I, mean, if you wanna I recommend holding off to wait for the cheaper price, but who knows how many people are going to try to buy up the PS4 version, because clearly it is the superior version compared to the PS5 physical copy wise. So. Again, thank you all for watching. I'll see you guys in my next unboxing video. Bye-bye!